Hi there and welcome back to Mommy Hates Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make this easy Ninja Foodie Beef Stroganoff. And you can also make this gluten free as well. It will work either way. It is a great comfort meal and super easy to make in your Ninja Foodie. You could also probably do this in an instant pot as well if you're using one of those. So the first thing you will need is one pound of beef stew meat, two tablespoons of olive oil, half a cup of chopped onion, a teaspoon of garlic salt, along with two cups of sliced mushrooms, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, half a teaspoon of ground thyme, two tablespoons of gluten-free or regular all-purpose flour. So your Worcestershire sauce and your flour, be sure those are gluten-free if you are making this gluten-free. You also need four cups of beef broth, one beef bouillon cube, 10 ounces of gluten-free or regular egg noodles, and three-fourths cup sour cream. So be sure to get the ingredients you need if you're going to make this either regular or gluten-free either way. And then we'll get started. So the first thing you're going to do is add oil to the pot of your Ninja Foodie. And then you're going to saute this stew meat until it's lightly browned. So as you can see here, I've got it in here. And I'm just going to lightly saute this for a few minutes until it's kind of browned on the outside. And then I'm going to add in my vegetables. So now I'm adding in the onion, the garlic salt, and mushrooms. Now I'm going to fully saute this beef until it is totally cooked and the veggies are soft. So that usually takes about 10 minutes. So I'm going to get that going. And again, I'm using the saute function of the Ninja Foodie and I do keep it on high heat so that it cooks up. And then I usually will just kind of let it sit for a few minutes and then I will go back and stir it up to get it evenly cooked. So that is what I'm doing here. You can see I'm mixing this up now. And again, at this point, you're just wanting to fully cook this beef. Now it's going to get cooked again in the instant, or sorry, in, not in the instant pot, but in the Ninja Foodie and on the pressure cooker function. So now that I've got that all stirred up, I'm going to add in the Worcestershire sauce, the thyme, the flour, broth, and bouillon cube. And that is a mouthful. So that is what we are going to add in here. And at this point, I'm getting it all ready to cook in the pressure cooker function of the Ninja Foodie. And again, you can do this exactly the same way in the Instant Pot. It's going to work either way. So I am getting all that ready. If you are going to make this gluten-free, you need to make sure to use a gluten-free all-purpose flour. As always, you want to check all ingredients to be sure you have gluten-free ingredients that haven't been cross-contaminated. Some of them get really sneaky there when you're picking those up at the store. So you want to use gluten-free flour and gluten-free egg noodles. Those are going to be the key swaps here in this recipe that you will need. I'll link to the egg noodles that I use that are gluten-free. You'll see them as well in this video. They are really good and they work really well for this recipe. I usually order those on Amazon. So I'm going to add in my flour and then I'll add in that broth as well. And then once we get all this added in, we're just going to stir it up so that it's nicely combined. And when you get done with the pressure cooker, the beef is going to pretty much melt in your mouth. It kind of tastes like a roast, and it's really, really good and not hard to chew, not tough. It just perfectly melts in your mouth. My kids love it, which is a win for this family because I have picky eaters. So we are going to get this finished up here. And I'm adding in, I'm getting my bouillon cube, and sorry if I don't pronounce things correctly, but just is the way it is. So anyways, I'm stirring this up and then I'm gonna go ahead and secure the pressure cooker lid and set the nozzle to seal. So I've got it sealed. I'm gonna cook this on high pressure for 10 minutes. Now when the pressure goes off, when it's done, the 10 minutes is up, you're going to naturally release, which means you don't do anything. Just let it naturally release for five minutes. After that five minutes, you'll turn the nozzle to vent and finish releasing the rest of the steam. So that's where I'm at now and it's been released. I'm going to carefully remove that lid and add in the pasta. So you wanna make sure when you're adding in your pasta noodles, which we are using egg noodles here. Now I am using um, their Amish egg noodles and they're gluten-free and I'm gonna to link to them, but you can use any kind. This is 10 ounces. You could use probably 10 to 12 ounces. It would still end up the same way and work well. 
And so I've got that fully under the water, the liquid. You wanna make sure it's fully pressed under that liquid. Then you're gonna secure the pressure cooker lid back, set it to seal. Now you're gonna cook the pasta for half the time that's listed on your package. So my package said eight minutes on the stove. I'm gonna cook that for four minutes on high pressure in the Ninja Foodie. So you do half the time that's listed for the stove top on your package. Once it's done, the cook time's done, you're going to quickly release, which means you move that nozzle to vent as soon as the timer goes up. You wanna make sure to do this because if you leave it in there too long, your pasta will overcook and it will soak up a lot of the liquid in your pot and you don't want that to happen. So after that is done, I've removed the lid and now I'm stirring in 3 fourths cup of sour cream. So I've got that in there. It'll melt up pretty well and I'm going to stir it in. Then I like to let this sit for about three to five minutes. It lets it cool and it also lets it thicken up some more. So that will sit after I'm done stirring it. And then this is what it looks like when it comes out of the pot. It's a delicious noodles, kind of tastes like cream of mushroom almost, noodles and beef. And we usually serve this with green beans. You can serve it with any vegetable that you prefer. Very easy to make. Usually takes about 35 to 45 minutes. A lot of it depends on that pressure building time in your Ninja Foodie. So you can find this recipe for Ninja Foodie beef stroganoff over on mommyhatescooking.com. I have a variety of Ninja Foodie recipes there. And remember, you can make it gluten-free too if that's a need. Be sure to like and subscribe to this video so that you do not miss the next one. Thanks so much for joining in today.